Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 on this channel. Here on ETCG1, we don't do repair videos, despite the scene behind me. Uh, we talk about stuff, so if you're looking for repair videos, uh, there'll be a link in the description to my Eric the Car Guy channel. You can go there and watch all the repair videos to your heart's content. Uh, if you wish to stick around and join in the conversation, I welcome you to do so. Hey, how the heck are you? Well, today I would like to talk about pattern repairs. It wasn't that long ago I did a video about pattern failures where we talked about some of the things that might be indicative characteristics of certain vehicles that are out there in the world uh, that uh, you may run into and, and you may experience failure of a particular component and it may be common to the brand or the make, the model, whatever. In this case, I'd like to talk about pattern repairs. What I mean when I say pattern repairs, for whatever reason, in my almost 20 years of doing this, it seems like things come in waves. Perfect example is what's behind me. Behind me, a 1997 uh, 3.2 Acura TL. It had a bad blower motor. And as you can see, it's quite an undertaking in order to uh, get to said blower motor to replace it. Now, not two, three weeks, not three weeks ago, or within the past month, let's say, I just did the exact same operation on my 1993 Acura Vigor. They're virtually the same vehicle. This is basically the grown-up version of what the Vigor was. And the odds of that happening, the odds of that happening, I, I, this is not a high volume shop. I don't work on a lot of cars. I do work on cars, mostly friends and family at this point. So the odds of me doing two of these blower motors in the same month is almost astronomical. <laughs> It really, it, it's just, it, it kind of boggles my mind to think about it, but oddly enough, I find this to be a typical experience uh, with repairs. Now, granted, temperature has a big effect on things that break. Extreme temperature, both extremely hot and extremely cold. So when it gets extremely hot outside, things tend to break. It gets extremely cold outside, things tend to break. Somewhere in the middle is quote unquote normal operation. So yes, I will give you that there are times during the middle of winter or the height of summer that you're seeing a lot of the same type of repairs. Maybe you need batteries, summer AC work, stuff like that. But this is, this is something really kind of weird and uncanny. Um, I'm talking about different makes and models. Like I, I used to work in an independent repair shop and one week we'd get a run of head gaskets. And these are different models, so you can't really bring in the whole pattern failure thing where maybe you got two of the same car that had a similar build date or something like that and it just happened to be that their time was up. No, what I'm talking about, you know, a head gasket on a Honda Civic and then also one on a Chrysler minivan, same time, during the same week. Or we might get two or three of those, like within a few weeks and then they'll go away and you won't see another head gasket for months and months and months, maybe a year, whatever. And then suddenly you get a run on transmission problems and you end up doing a bunch of transmission work on a bunch of different types of vehicles. And it's just, it's weird. It's weird. It's sort of, uh, sort of, well, I, I don't really want to say it adds credence to the theory, but it, it's like, it's like astrology in a way. It's like automotive astrology. I wonder if there's some kind of planetary alignment that says, this means transmission problems like Pluto squared off with Mars or something. I, I don't know. Uh, just, just throwing that out there. But I, you know, I, I just wonder if other technicians, now some of you out there are DIYers and you watch this show and you feel left out because I often talk about technician stuff and I apologize for that, but you know, I talk about DIY stuff too. So relax, you know, but just relax in those comments a little bit. But hear me out, I mean, it just seems to me that, or maybe as a DIYer, let's throw it out to you too. Maybe your neighborhood, your friends, your coworkers, something, maybe they experience the similar problem to their vehicle at the same time during the same week, month, whatever. Like uh, you've got one vehicle, they've got another vehicle, and suddenly both of you have the same problem. You know, both of you have radiators that went bad or tires that blew up or something odd like that, that, that just was similar. And I, I don't know what this is, but you know, this, this right here is, in my opinion, evidence to the theory. In this video, I just wanted to throw this out there. I just wanted to see if you've seen pattern repairs uh, as opposed to pattern failures. 
And, and what are the things that you've seen? Have you, like, okay, DIYers, have you seen you, your neighbors, coworkers, all experiencing the same type of problem at the same time? As I said, could be temperature related, could be something like dead of winter, all of your batteries go bad. Okay, that's something. Or it's the middle of summer and all of your air conditioners go out. Okay, but as a shop, as a technician, as shop owner, or whatever, you know, somebody involved in a repair field, do you see the same kind of thing? And if so, what have you seen? Have you seen a run on engines or head gaskets or wheel bearings all in one week? Like all of a sudden that seems like all you're doing. And then the next week it's something else and it goes on and on. It's kind of a continuing cycle, you know, things break. That's, you know, as technicians, that's how we make a living. So things breaking, well, that sort of goes hand in hand with what we do. If things weren't broke, we wouldn't, wouldn't be doing much, I don't think. That being said, what are your experiences with pattern repairs? Hey, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. Why? Because there's all kinds of answers there. Uh, that would be the place that I would ask you would go if you have uh, any kind of automotive issues. There's a welcome video there to tell you about all the amazing features we have at EricTheCarGuy.com to help you with your auto repair needs. In addition to that, if you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. ETCG1 videos come out on Monday, so look for those next week. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you next time.